<laughs> we can hear you, Alex. <laughs> Damn, they can hear me. Oops. <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> Well, then I will make my prediction. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, I made a prediction for the PS4 team. I made a prediction at 30 minutes. I was <laughs> off by about two and a half. I'm going to make a prediction on the Xbox team, 34.50. So that's my prediction right now, guys. 34 minutes, 50 seconds. I think they're going to lose by just over two minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's three fat runs. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see if they can do it. I don't know, guys. 32.26 is going to be a hard time to beat from that PS4 run. We will see what happens. All right, my hand is on the start button. I am ready to click that time. And of course, you can see my mouse right, hovering go. over. All right. Go. Oh, why did it not refresh? Okay, so mine got... Here, I'm going to do this. I don't yeah. know why it didn't refresh the number. My apologies on that. Got it, got it. Mine will be behind a little bit of time then with it. Victoria in the back. After, yeah, finish the moment after anything goes down. Okay, good to know with it. So, we are starting here, guys, with it. This is the Xbox team for Team SGN. Trying to go up against the PlayStation team, which is running at 32 minutes and 26 seconds. That timer you see, of course, in my corners is not the official time. Katie's holding the official one. We also have a timer running under Regulator's channel. So you've got a bunch of numbers to kind of compare with it. It'll be interesting to see. PlayStation team definitely burned through this moment very, very quick. Um, a little interested in kind of seeing that. Uh, Rishti, it's the moment Atheon goes down is my understanding with it. Because uh, the uh, technicality loot would be about a three to four second after that, so there's a little bit of a difference between the two. So we'll see what happens with this. PS4 team was able to burn this down in about five minutes, so I'm kind of curious to see how the Xbox team's gonna roll. Uh, PlayStation definitely made zero mistakes in this part of it. They got on top of that easy. Timing can change a lot if you happen to let that portal not, if you happen to let the spire, excuse me, not form, if you happen to get off that panel, even for those couple brief seconds, there of course is that time that takes to get back on your spot for that spire to start forming again. That can be easily 10 to 15 seconds lost, which may not seem like a lot, but that does add up when you're competing against a very tight clock. Sony team did not do badly. 32 minutes is a very competitive time, only being a minute away from the world record currently. So, if you guys are just popping in here with it, this is the Xbox One team running the Team SGN Vault of Glass speedrun competing against the PS4 team. PS4 ran at a 32 minutes and 26 second time. Winner of this whole setup of it, the way we're doing things, we are doing a giveaway. So if you haven't yet, please hit that follow button. Follow us here at Team SGM. You can also follow me directly. Um, I am the Red Gamer, otherwise you can call me Alex, CEO and founder over at Urban Gaming Elite. Uh, you can find us, of course, at twitch.tv slash urbangamingelite or our website at urbangamingelite.com. We are very proud to be partnering here with Syndicate Gaming Elite. So if you hit that follow button here for Team SGN, you have a chance to win a three-month subscription of PS Plus or Xbox Live, depending on which team wins the competition. All right, a little bit of damage here taken by Regulator. Almost about to go down. Oh, Regulator does go down along with Zai. Not a good start to see with it. Two people down is not going to be very good. And right now, the Vex Control is sync plate. That is exactly what I was talking about, guys, here with it. That's going to add 10 to 15 seconds in that little bit of it. So they are already falling behind in this time piece of it. Already halfway into the mark for where the PlayStation team landed. Not a good start, Xbox. Let's see if they can bring it back, though. All right, Spire is back forming again. Do the Spire forming. Looks like they lost only about 10 seconds. They brought it back together. Let's see if they can actually fully bring it. Around that spire is forming. I don't used to know how long it takes actually to form that spire. I think the spire takes 90 seconds to form um, from the point at which it starts, but I don't remember. It might be longer than that, actually. I apologize with it. Oh, I'm glad I can't hear that. <laughs> I wish I could hear their party chat. Trying to take down that Victorian. Alright, spire has been activated. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go. Nice. So that was five minutes on my clock. Now, in the end, my clock was two minutes behind um, before when I was doing it for the PS team. So five minutes actually runs in at three minutes of their time. So they're actually pretty close to the PlayStation team right now. Probably only falling about We're 10 falling or 15 off. seconds behind. Remember, guys, with this, this is a glitchless run. No big glitches are allowed. There's no cheating anything. There's no glitch in the final enemy. This does have to be a correct and, perf and, correct and proper run. doesn't have to be a perfect run, obviously, but perfection does have its own piece. No, broadcast doesn't, which is kind of weird. Um, <laughs> even with Sony, can be a little bit awkward. Wow, they're already stacking up on those sparrows. Be interesting to see what happens. I don't know. Now, the PlayStation team did slow a little bit down during the Oracles. They had a couple small issues that happened around that, so the Xbox team can make up time around that. We will find out. 
you know, it's funny, did wonder. Actually, there's been a lot of people that have looked at the different consoles, and Sony has been kind of agreed as being the general one better for streaming. Yeah. They also kind of advertise that. Now, you can make the comparison that Xbox can do a lot more multitasking with that side window feature, other stuff with it. Plus, their software tends to run a lot of the side and third party apps a little better. Netflix runs that a little bit better, I know, and so does YouTube. So, there's arguments to both sides of it. I am actually not partial to either console. I'm a PC gamer myself. No. I have a PS4, mostly because I had to pick some exclusives out, and I went for Bloodborne and the exclusivity of uh, Destiny. Was well, the main reason why I went for the PS4 part of it. I also know quite a few people that own both. <laughs> Shots fired, right? Going for it. So, pushing down this little what parkour section. Seriously? Ooh, man, we got someone falling behind already. <laughs> nah, Not looking yet. good. Alright, running up at about that five minute mark to start the first part of God. the second main section God. of the raid. You know, not to try to slam the Xbox team, that's not my intent anyways with it, but definitely seeing a little lack of precision, I feel like, even just in the communication. Now, granted, I can't hear the Xbox side of it, but PlayStation definitely did pretty good. Oh, dead, for sure, man. I am looking, I am loving for that game. I was a huge Dark Souls fan, so it was just... Fanboy Race should be the name of the contest, right, Adrian? <laughs> No, I am so looking forward to Bloodborne, man. I've got that. Um, I've actually, I'm, I'm actually getting an evaluation copy for it, so I'm looking forward to that. I was able to get in contact with those guys and do that. All right, so I'm making this full push with it. So a lot of the timing that comes down on this, you've never seen the Vault of Glass, you've never run the raid before. There's a couple different sections that come into it. Uh, luckily, these guys, of course, know the raid, which makes a huge difference when running it. Um, I don't believe there's gonna be a blood. I don't think there's a co-op Bloodborne, is there? Man, I don't even remember now. <laughs> I, I have to step back and think as to what no! they're doing specifically for it. I'm not gonna die. I've been I've been intentionally avoiding spoilers. I kind of I like to learn the game as it comes out. Um, I do all that kind of stuff. I try to avoid those kind of pieces automatically. So with this guy's a bunch of different sections that come into it. The oracles are probably one of the ones that have the most oh, time draining because if you screw up the oracle fight of it, you can end up getting that little uh, mark with it, die, and that can set them back a lot. A team wipe will be detrimental to this race. Um, we were very lucky watching the PS4 team. They never had to do a wipe. Wipe pretty much burns about 30 seconds and running through it just between the time of actually the occurrence, dying, and everything else with it. I know, okay. I wish we could hear that chat as well. It's kind of stupid that Xbox does that. Yeah, um, probably. You know what we may want to try to do? Oh, nice, Dad. I think what we may try to do in the future, if we do a Crota race, which I think we definitely should, it may be kind of fun to actually find a location, get everybody well, together, nice and we can actually do a full stream, pull all the audios and video together, and do a real nice professional stream out of it. I'd love to see that. We do have the Legion now coming in from the Templar, the first major part of the fight coming up. I think the Oracles follow that afterwards, and then, of course, there is the Relic to take down the main guy. On the hole. Running at about seven minutes currently with it. They are actually pretty well on track for the PS4 one. I do have actually the PS4 uh, video recording. Luckily, my stream program hey, records everything with it. So I've actually got it running right now, and they're looking, they're pretty consistent. They're behind by about 25 seconds if we want to go with estimates. It's kind of hard to, to give a direct with it. Yeah. What are they? Oh, okay. I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. <laughs> Come to Cali to do it, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I believe it, right? Yeah. See, the problem with hard mode running on Vault of Glass is there's a lot of little things that can that can make it a little more difficult. Um, I, I, I would I would <laughs> I would divert my uh, conversation that to somebody else who knows them a little bit more as an expert province as I do. I don't really know all the details on it, but I know hard mode can introduce some other variables with it. I can make it a little bit more difficult, but hard mode would be a fun way to do it as well. Hard mode, especially in Vault of Glass, I think just adds a little more variability because damage can be a little too hard or whatever. I don't know, let's see, but I think if we do if we do Crota, I think it would be a lot of fun to do the Crota, come all together, you know, run the Crota piece of it, do it at like, you know, you know, go to a hotel, rent it out, do that stuff, put everything together and stream it. Um, I think that'd be a fun way to do it. Would be an awesome promotional thing for SGN as well. So we may have to look into that. I'll look into that, see if there's something I can do. I might be able to um, make some contacts and see if there's a way to do it. So running up at about that eight minute mark already. Looking kind of kinda of good with it so far. Crota will be easy. See, that's and that's the only reason why I don't know if I like the speedrun idea of Crota. Um, for anyone that hasn't done both of them, my kind of two cents on it. Vault of Glass is tricky, but once you figure it out, there's still some technique to it. There's mechanics you got to do, you got to play well. Crota, once you figure out Crota, it's easy. It's it, seriously, you don't really have to. Not a lot of skill to it. I'm really dead. Wow. Jeez. Well, exactly. Yeah, it's all for fun, and that's kind of the whole point with it. I mean, this whole thing is just for fun. There's some competition, there's some throwing back and forth, and I definitely, you know, put up the, the subscription piece of it for a little bit of fun as well. 
So it'll be interesting to kind of see where things go. On top of this, guys, as we're looking forward to things, as they're kind of getting pushed into this. Ooh, that's a sacrifice. That's not good. Defense of the Complex is not going very well here. Looking forward to guys. Battlefield Hardline comes out in about a week. We will be doing some live stream stuff with it on the release of it. On top of that, as courtesy of Urban Gaming Elite, we will spo be sponsoring a promotion to be giving away two copies of the game uh, for either console during that time with it. Definitely check out the website, thesgn.com, for that. With that promotion, guys, just so you know, uh, anybody that is associated, affiliated, or directly a part of SGN or UGE cannot be entered into the promotion. My sincerest apologies for that. It's just part of the rules that go into it. However, tweet it out, send it out, get your friends to be a part of it so they can show up, possibly win it. All the different things that go with that would be great to see, as well as showing up for our streams, um, and including our subscription account and email account for UGE. So you'll definitely check Monday for that. We'll advertise it on Team SG on the excuse me on the SGN.com as well as UrbanGamingElite.com. I just got to get the final details set up for it. So pushing in the time, running up in that 10-minute mark at this point with it looking okay, but not as well as we'd like to see. Oracle's, we should be getting to that point where Oracle starts summing up relatively cool. Ooh, and regular gets the marks for negation. I was wondering if we didn't get a chance to see. Dead was very, was well played and didn't get it in the time. Ooh, and the detonation was too quick. That is not going to be good. Regulator falls down. I believe he's the only one that dropped, though. Yeah. Those 30 second, 30 second changes do help a little bit. 30 seconds, of course, until you can become revived. At least, at least it's not a wipe, right? You know? The wipe can make things a hell of a lot worse. Pushing in that 10:30 mark here. Yeah. Falling behind a little bit, guys. Oracles were getting very close to summoning at this part for the PS4 team. So, PS4 looking very, very good right now. Not the way we want to look. A lot of little mistakes we kind of see popping into that. You know, it's uh, honestly I'm very impressed with the PS4 team. They ran it very well. A lot of precision. Um, they definitely seemed on top of their mark with it. That's not a slam against the Xbox team by any means. Trust me, I could not do this the way they are. If I was in there, PS4 would be on an hour. I will be fully admitted to that. But mistakes can happen. Things can happen. You misjudge some damage, and you can go down pretty quick. And when you're doing a speedrun, man, 30 seconds makes a huge difference. I love speedruns, personally. I used to... I, I love playing around with them, trying to speedrun my own games. I am not even close to good enough at it, <laughs> by any means. Um, I've always loved to... Uh, most recent game I ever tried speeding run was Dark Souls 2. I was able to get one down in about an hour. They didn't smack talk you during this stream. <laughs> <laughs> right, Adrian, I know. I go back and forth playing Destiny, you know, I can go back a bit. Eloquent did just drop now as well. This is not looking very good. Alright, there we go. Regular gets the revive and get back into the fight. <laughs> exactly, as Katie said, guys, if you are watching this and you're not part of SGN, you want to know what we're all about, yeah, yeah. check us out at thesgn.com. I'm here, I'm back. We have free time... I can't really. Agree. I can see if you know I can get you in some VOG and maybe a code run. Oh, definitely, man. I've done it a couple times. I've done both runs. I just haven't done them recently. My biggest problem is I've kind of gotten to that point where I've stacked up a lot of my, you know, uh, a lot of my uh, my equipment already to the point where I don't do Crucible. I don't really care to have the best oh, and the brightest of everything. So I fall in and out of it. Um, I also have a collection of games that I'm doing for reviews. Uh, we got reached out to recently for a couple indie game reviews, and with GDC this week and PAX East, I got my plate full. But I may have some time later tonight. I got a little bit of work I want to do on the website, uh, trying to rebuild our Twitch module, so we can start doing some of that stuff. I've got a couple other things I'm working as well. Oh, perfect drug falling down as well. We have the ritual negation going. I don't know if anybody else is marked. We'll see once it detonates. All right, looks like nobody else is marked as good. So they're dropping one. You know, you wouldn't think one person dropping makes a big deal. It definitely doesn't stop you from completing the raid, but it can make it a lot harder. That 30-second timer also to bringing them back. And up on that 13 minute mark right now. Do, 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 do. Another Vex has sacrificed itself. They are definitely falling behind a bit. That is not good. Oh, Katie, you haven't done Crota at all yet? You should pop up with us and do it sometime. Pax Prime? I will for sure be at Pax Prime. I'm already registered. Uh, I'm, oh, I almost almost already registered. I gotta double check it. Um, I should be up on the media group with it. If not, I will definitely spend the money to go out for it. Uh, I was supposed to be at GDC, actually, this year, but things didn't work out uh, financially as well as I would have liked, and unfortunately it's a large drop of money. But PAX will definitely be out, so I'm definitely heading out to PAX Prime, and I'm looking at going to Summoner's Con as well. Uh, this year they should be lining up, I believe. Um, so I believe it should be PAX Prime one weekend and Summoner's Con the next. i got to double-check that, but um, if it does work out that way, which would be kind of cool. Uh, if you guys don't know Summoner's Con, that's for League of Legends. Uh, another event I definitely want to go into. 
pushing up on that 14 minute mark here. They are definitely falling behind quite a bit. It's a little unfortunate to see. Yeah, oh yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, sure. Try to help me through it with your 27. At 29, you could probably, you could probably help through the regular one. Especially if you have a couple of 32s in there with that. At 32, the amount of damage you do and the damage they do to you is just ridiculous. Like, it's just unbelievably small. Um, and I got carried through the hard mode that one time, too. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, that's the problem. Yeah, oh, right man. 1450 mark with it. Considering PAX Prime. Have you ever been to PAX before, Gun? Have you ever been to any of the PAXs, I guess oh, I should yeah. ask? Ooh, an eloquent dropping down as well. Man, they are falling apart a little bit over here. With all the trash talk Xbox was doing, I don't know, guys. They were they may not have been trash talking now during the stream, but they were definitely trash talking on the website earlier. It'll be interesting to see with it. I don't understand what the strategy they're trying to do here is. I think that has to do a little bit with trying to change up that aggro. It's kind of interested to see, I don't know. Yeah, you can definitely do it at twenty nine. Um I don't know if I'd want to run it with a hunter, but that's just me. I don't like the hunter class at all. Not a big fan of it. Ugh. Worst part about this strategy is I can't see what else is going on. <laughs> Destiny, spectator mode, Activision, Blizzard, Activision, yeah. Bungie, get on that, guys. Hide from the leads. Okay, that's kind of what I figured. All right, Eloquent is back up. Pushing into that 15-minute mark already, guys. Comparing over to the PS stream, they are definitely falling behind. Not to try to give them any sort of lack of motivation, but they are close uh, to four to five minutes behind at this point. He's talking about your boxers. That's what he's talking about. <laughs> yes, he is. It's <laughs> <laughs> so high from Legion Strat where you do the... Oh, okay. Oh, for the hard mode. That's right. Oh, Laughable. <laughs> I think it would be out I think it would be faster killing there. Okay, so Oracle's a sponsoring, so we are definitely at the Oracle point now. <laughs> Wait, what's going on now? I'm confused. Alright, got the Oracle destroyed. So they're definitely falling a bit behind in time right now. They're gonna have to seriously make up some time pushing forward. I don't know guys. Alright, original negation coming up. Hopefully nobody got marked. Hardest part of this, easily again, guys, trying to take down those snipers. So far, I'm watching these guys, that their damage doesn't seem to be up there. I don't know. <laughs> that can make a huge difference in this, trying to get that damage. I know Dead was running just a heck of a weapon with it, which made a huge difference. Running that pistol uh, made it really nice, able to take down those oracles in one, two shots, and even the snipers. See, this one I don't give it, because if you're trying to run that pulse rifle up against that hobgoblin, you lose almost two to three seconds Back killing up. them on that shield. But to each their own, I guess. All right, Oracle in the center. Two, three down. All right, looking good so far. Seem to be kind of falling into a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a setup now. This is good. Anyways, guys, again, welcome everybody to the stream. Thank you everyone for showing up. If you are new to the stream, haven't seen us before, make sure you hit that follow for the SGN channel. Check us out at thesgn.com. If you want to know about me, which I know everyone always wants to know about me, said no one ever. I'm Red Gamer. Also go by Alex. Founder, senior founder of Urban Gaming Elite. Very happy to be partnering here with Syndicate Gaming Network or SGN. Find, of course, SGN over at thesgn.com and me over at urbangamingelite.com. Definitely check us out. We like to do articles, reviews, and all sorts of different content. If you are just popping in now as well, you are watching the Xbox One part of the Vault of Glass speedrun competition for SGN. PS4 completed up just a little over 45 minutes ago, landing in at a time of 32.26. Oracle Disruptor. Okay, that's what I thought. I was wondering if, yeah. I don't remember which one I had that's got that Oracle Disruptor as well. Put that down, alright. Oh, man, I almost thought they were going to miss that one. Oh, those bloody snipers, man. <laughs> alright, ritual negation popping up. Doesn't look like anybody's marked, which is good. All right, coming up on the 18-minute mark, you guys. Come on, Xbox. You guys got to kick it in the high gear if you want to try to catch the PS team. I don't know. They might be able to make up some time towards the end. I don't know. Um, although I really didn't see... I don't know. The PS4 team didn't really fall behind there, so I'm not sure. All right, so I think we're on the fifth sequence of Oracles right now. I'm not 100% sure. Somebody wants to double-check my account. Ah, thanks for that gun. Yep, so you can check us out, of course, at UrbanGamingElite.com. Bunch of different stuff we do. We've got a bunch of things we're wrapping up to do as well and ramping up for a lot of pieces. I just realized it's going much smoother. Okay. 
So I, I haven't gotten a chance to actually watch the Xbox guys run it, I just know what I've heard. Alright, one, so pop down those oracles. Five, six, I think. Alright. And of course, yeah, there you go, the SGN.com. Come in, check, come in, check us out, become part of the group if you're not already. They're a great and fun gaming community, seriously. Their motto, of course, is come for the gaming, stay for the community. Great way to do it, of course, you can see it up there as well. <laughs> Can't count, nice. Oh, man. Alright, popping very close to that 20 minute mark. We're at 19.30 right now, according to my clock. 19.50 on regulator's clock. Katie, I don't know what your count's showing still. Um, whose count, I guess, whose timer's a little more accurate. His probably is a lot closer since I had to reset my number. Alright, so kind of putting this in a comparison, guys. PS4 was popping out of this section, moving into the third section right around the 26 minute mark. So we are about six minutes away from that right now. And we still are getting the oracles to take down. Adesu comes in. Microfreak, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream with the man. I appreciate that. Taking down those oracles. I think this is the last round of oracles or second last round of oracles. Ooh, Kangaroo goes down. Of course, having that warlock. Oh, gotta love that warlock ability, that self resurrection. I don't know anybody that doesn't love taking that. PvP, I don't care for it as much, but it's really nice when running those. Also, great when trying to run like the heroic strikes on your own, for sure. Alright, negation goes. Nobody is there, which is awesome. <laughs> Commentator. Commentator, shoutcaster, annoying person on the screen. I will look, I will respond to whatever you want to call me. Call me Witch of Village, don't call me late for dinner. Oh, man. Bob Howard Reg, okay. That's what I figured um, when I ran my timer with it. I forgot to reset the number when I was testing it. Alright, pulling off that icebreaker. Don't blame him. It's kind of expecting the icebreaker. Uh, a little bit earlier with it. Alright, this has got to be the last round of the Oracles. One, two, three, four. Mid, mid. mid one. Five going down. Where's that sixth? Alright, sixth one going down. Seventh. Okay, looks like we seven. So we got one more going. So we got one more sequence of Oracle still, I believe. And yeah, they are definitely falling behind on that time a little bit. That's unfortunate. That face, though. Is that... Is, is that is that, an, is that an attack on me? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I look like Seth Rogen. I. I'm not sure how to take that. I'm really not. Wait till I get my head buzzed again. I may not look so much like him. All right, coming up on that 22-minute mark according to Reg's time. Definitely falling a bit behind. They are four minutes behind. If they want to match up with the PS team, to try to get out of this area. One more sequence of oracles to go through, I believe, and then, of course, there's still the third part of this second section. Not looking too good with it. They're going to have to kick it up, make some time up. This is definitely the easiest part to lose time, because you can't control how fast those oracles necessarily summon. All right, one, two, three. Go, go, go. <laughs> it's smexy. <laughs> Four, five, I believe. Six. Ooh. Oh, man, Reg's going to go down from the snipe. He's not careful. Ooh, gets that Titan Shield up at the last second. Whoa. Ha, ha, ha. That clutch Titan Shield. All right, looks like all the Oracles are down. I believe that was the last sequence of Oracles. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. Just checking out the chat. Didn't get my chance to count. Nothing like close range snipering. What are you doing, Reg? Come on, man. Ooh, that sliver of health. That 1 HP survival... It needs to be like an award or something to pop up for that, I swear. Alright, pushing that down with it. <laughs> the jinx on the clutch. I love it. Alright, sitting at that 23 mark, 23 minute mark. That is true, Bish. You did say it first. Adrian, you were behind by about 3 or 4 seconds. I don't know. And it's really hard to do a clutch, I gotta say, on. <laughs> clutch on uh, <laughs> Twitch chat. Oh, those damn snipers. See, that's where the damage man comes in with it. If you can't one-shot those hobgoblins, that can take up a lot of time. All right, moving into the third section of this second part of the raid. They got about they got to get basically out of here <laughs> in two minutes if they want to match up with the PS4 team. Definitely not looking good for them, guys. Come on, kick it up into high gear. At this point right now, guys, they have eight minutes to match the total PS4 team. Finished at 32 minutes and 26 seconds. What do you guys think? Can the Xbox team finish this in eight minutes? 
I don't know. I think that's going to be hard to do. I think they're going to be hard-pressed to make it work. But, you know what? I've seen good things before. Always willing to see it. Oh, man. Regular getting tired with that mark negation. All right. There we go. Gets that cleanse. Oh, man. They got to take this guy down. There we go. Shield's down. Now it comes down to how much damage they can throw at it. Not seeing a whole lot of rockets flying off from them. I don't know, guys. I would have been running. I'd be running heavy ammo against this. Get some Galahorns in there or whatever. Oh, they're doing decent damage with it. All right, trying to get that teleport. Oh, they've only got they've only got two that aren't 32 with it. I don't think 31 makes that much of a difference, but it definitely does a bit. All right, Templar falling down to about half health. Minotaur spawning in as well, holding off that teleport, doing well. They've got the precision for it right now, which is good. I just don't think they have the damage. That seems to be the biggest issue. Oh, and regular does go down. Oh, that damn harpy next to him. Don't think you saw that. That's going to hurt. You need every bit of damage you can right now going on these guys. Actually, now, of course, as the oracles come in, now you got to watch out for those ritual negations. Yeah, I don't think Involved the Glass 31 versus 32 makes a huge difference, but it might make a difference depending on where your weapons stand. If your weapons aren't as leveled up or your armor isn't as leveled up, that can make a big difference, I think. You don't think that, you know, 30, 40 armor matters, but, man, it can, especially when you're fighting in a raid. Yeah, it's, you know, it, come on, guys, we got to get him up. There we go. Yeah, I was just going to say it teleported. That's not looking good for them. I do have to say the PS4 team definitely had this part on lock. I was extremely impressed to watch this. You guys were you guys were easily on that. All right, at this point, guys, the PS4 team was exiting this area, moving into the last part of this area. Not looking real good for them right now. I think the PS4 team is going to hold this one. Hey, Octavian. Uh, is that Sirop? Oh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Welcome to the stream, guys. Thanks for showing up. I don't know, guys. I think they're going to have a hard time trying to push this towards the end. All right, just about got him dead. Can they finish him out? All right. Templar has gone down right around the 26 mark, 15 seconds. This could be interesting. It's going to be close. At this point, we are looking at just a little bit over six minutes right now for them to totally finish it out. PS4 team landed at 32 minutes and 26 seconds. As well, guys, it's extremely important to remember the time finishes at the moment Atheon goes down. And PS4 got lucky because a bunch of them died at the very end of it, and they luckily took Atheon down just in time. I was unbelievably close, actually. I was a little surprised. I think that works. So, yeah, they were actually only a, just about a minute away from the world record. Um, that being said, too, the world record, uh, I don't know for surely when they start and stop that time, whether or not the world record is set up in terms of, you know, do they start at the minute they enter, they start at the minute they jump into uh, orbit, I don't know for sure. I have to double check a lot of that kind of stuff. But yeah, they were very close. Uh, I knew 30 minutes, right around 30 minutes, I knew it would be competitive. Um, so I figured, you know, allowing for a couple minutes, plus or minus here and there. All right, let's see what we're going to do. We're now running on 27 minutes, guys. You have five minutes to try to make this work. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. Hey, yeah, welcome. Yeah, just catching the Xbox team. Don't worry too much, man. If you did miss some of it before, um, luckily with it, I have been able to catch all the streams, and this does record locally on my machine as well. So we are going to put some of the stuff together. We'll upload it to both the SGN channel and my channel over at Urban Gaming Elite. Definitely so you can get a chance to watch the streams. I'm also hoping to pull out some of the video for fun, see if we can try to match up the times back-to-back, -back, um, kind of do a speed playthrough of it. Otherwise, you'll have to listen to my voice over and over. Drug, what are you doing, man? Oh... All right, getting close to that four-minute mark left. Yeah. I don't know, guys. It's going to be close. Yeah. I don't know. They're losing a lot of time here with it, too. I don't know. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, these are the kind of mistakes you just cannot do in a speed run. I want to. I want to stay positive. I want to remain positive for him, guys. Get that energy. Get that motivation. Put that hype into this, you guys. <laughs> get these guys hyped for it. <laughs> this is a risky moment. <laughs> I love you, drug. I love you. Yeah, I don't know, Dead. What do you think, man? I think you're the you're the collective expert in this channel. I think they can do it. I'm I'm hard pressed to believe they can bring this back together in a couple minutes. T hype. <laughs> well, you know it's tea. It could be scotch. You never know. Ouch. 
<laughs> yeah, right? They still have to finish it. Everybody be quiet. They're sneaking past people. I know. I wish I knew what Drug was saying, too, right? They purple. Perfect jump puzzle. Yeah. Okay. I think even still, man, three minutes at this point to try to take down Atheon? Ugh. I mean, they're not even burning through this yet. Guardian down. I don't know, guys. What do you think? They may they may know that they're burned. <laughs> I kind of get the feeling that they know they're done. <laughs> My God, I wish we could hear their chat. I'd love to know what they're saying. After all that talk from Xbox, I don't know, guys. Ugh. I called it. I called it from the beginning. I knew PS4 was going to have this. <laughs> yeah, that's what you still have the jump boss to do as well. Yeah, I don't know what they. I don't really know what was going on there with it. I don't know if they all just kind of realized they're burned or what. Oh my god, dollar really. <laughs> Make a little love. Get down tonight. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Matt. I mean, that really is the big part of it. When you're doing a speed run like this, deaths matter. You know, because you, you lower your damage, you lower what you can do. At certain parts, it might not make a huge difference with it, but with that 30-second time, you know, that can really change things up. Definitely saw a lot of deaths going on with it. They've been fortunate not to have to wipe, so they've definitely held themselves with it, but... Oh, and I spoke too soon. Wow, speak of the devil. Man. Yeah, and that's pretty much the death sentence for it, guys. I think I spoke a little too soon. I was just going to say they haven't had to wipe yet. <laughs> but with that wipe, guys, I mean, that, like I said, that kills yeah, almost 30 that. seconds at that point. Oh, man. You don't realize it, but yeah, it burns a bunch of time. Sitting almost at that 31-minute mark, guys. They've got a, they got about a minute and 26 seconds to try to pull it together. I am pretty confident in saying that. The S4 is going to take this one, you guys. So, with that, guys, as a small reminder, we are doing a small giveaway. Yeah, break that. I know you can hear me. <laughs> so, guys, of course, we are doing that small giveaway. It looks like at this point we're going to be doing it for the PS4 PlayStation people. So, the giveaway is a three-month subscription to PlayStation Plus. To be a part of that raffle, here's what you got to do. You need to be following us here on Team SGN. That is the most important part. You need to be following us here on the Twitch. Beyond that, guys, you have to say something in the chat. So if you're sitting there lurking, not saying anything with it, please speak something with it. Especially let me know if you want to be a part of the raffle. So at this point, what we're going to do is I want anybody that actually wants to be a part of the raffle as well, specifically for the PS Plutch. PS Plutch. Wow, as I read demo, I say clutch, so I screwed that up. Excuse me. For the PS Plus. Um, go ahead and make sure you just say something in chat here so I know how many people to add to that queue for it. Because we wouldn't want to give an Xbox player something they're not going to use. If you have both consoles, of course, you can definitely do it that way. You definitely did finish with a clutch, Dad. I'll give you that one, man. That is that is for sure. Nah. Other than that, guys, if you haven't checked us out before, check us out at www.thesgn.com. Otherwise, find me over at urbangamingelite.com. Once again, I am the Red Gamer, CEO and founder of UGE. Very happy to be partnering here with Team SGN, Syndicate Gaming Network. Definitely going to see us again a lot of different ways. Check us out for different streams, events, giveaways, etc. Oh, jeez. I thought he was going to die there with it. Speaking, of course, with the giveaways, guys, we are going to be doing some future giveaways with Battlefield Hardline. So definitely check us out with that. Keep posted. Check out the website around Monday when we'll release a lot of the details for it. But we are giving away two copies of the game for either console, of course. And we'll be doing it, of course, live during the stream when the game releases, which I believe Adrian is organizing. Um, you can confirm the man if you're sitting in the chat. But at this point, guys, now it looks like according to the official time, Looking at some of that, if Katie wants to confirm this for me, I believe they are burned on the time officially. Of course, we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep running through it because we want to put everything together. But it, oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like they know. Yeah, that is the that is the dancing of people knowing. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. Do, should, should we give them? Should we give them a mercy bow out? Should we let them just bow out at this point if they want? <laughs> I say here, here's here's my feeling. If they want to bow out, here's what has to happen. Regulator, if you're listening, man, on stream, you have to say very, very specifically, PS4 is better than Xbox One. If you say that, I think we'll all agree we'll give you guys a mercy bow out. Let's wait for him to catch on to that and see if he'll do it. If he's willing to do that, I'll often do a mercy bow out. Come on, Dad, yeah. we got to be nice. you got to show mercy to the evil people. If he, if he... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh lord. Alright. 
I'm sure they will finish dead. I'm just I'm just giving them I'm just giving them crap right now about it. Oh my god, they're gonna push him off the <laughs> Wow. <laughs> right dead, yeah, here bloody set. No, I think they do because they um Rishi, they can hear me. Um uh, I know I know Red can hear me with it. Um, and he's running that time, so that timer is actually on his stream uh channel with it, so I think he can see it in front of him. Yeah, we're still waiting on Bloody. Oh, of course Bloody failing it all. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> It was a good run. It was a good try. I give them credit for that, guys. You got to give them you credit for trying it. it. Oh man! Did Zai come back? <laughs> oh my goodness! Did Zai just like leave? I don't think Zai's not back. Zai was just like Zai was just like the hell okay, with this. I'm getting a drink. Right. Zai, went, Zai went to grab a beer. <laughs> Go steal the controller from. <laughs> yeah, Cammy, right? <laughs> All right, guys, pushing into that final section of the raid. Let's let's look at this, guys. We want to show our support, of course, for our team. Let's let's see if they can keep it under 40 minutes. I got I got confidence in them. I bet they can do it. So, guys, if you're listening over on Xbox, try to keep it under that 40 minute mark. Let's at least try to keep it in a competitive time. <laughs> nice, Adrian. All right, pushing on this final part with it, as we saw, of course, before the PS4 team. This can be a little bit tricky to do, but it's not too bad. Ice cream and fireball. My goodness. I was actually out to dinner earlier in the night. Uh, uh, friends and family took me out to uh, celebrate my birthday, which comes up next week, which is why I was not super prepared to run this earlier, so I do apologize for that, guys. It's kind of a last-second choice to do all that. So I definitely had my share of drinking <laughs> tonight already. Ooh, man, Speaking of which, guys, with it, I haven't confirmed this with Beersy, but there is a decent chance that Beersy and I are going to be doing a drunk stream together, which, of course, the combination of Beersy and Alex comes down to beer licks. So we are possibly looking at doing a drunk stream together next Friday, which is my birthday, so I'm looking to have some fun and get wasted on stream. Uh, what stream channel we'll do it on specifically, I'm not sure. Uh, possibly run it on Team SGN. Otherwise, for sure, we'll run it over on twitch.tv slash urbangamingelite. So if you're listening to this and you haven't yet, go check us out over at Urban Gaming Elite. Check out the website follow us over on Twitch as well. Um, I know I haven't been getting a whole lot of streaming going recently, but hoping to bring in more and more people uh, between the different pieces with it and start increasing my own yeah. streaming time. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate it, man. I Pushing up in that 37-minute mark already. Okay, they got three minutes to keep it in that competitive 40-minute 40 40 minute time. <laughs> Let's hope they can do it. <laughs> All right, Adrian. Should be a lot of fun. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do. I know. See, Risty, the one thing I'm thinking for sure is, uh, you know, looking at doing a meetup again sometime soonish and getting a stream, some sort of com combined thing together. I think it'll be a ton of fun. If you missed that, I'm not tuning it again. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Pushing that 37 and a half minute mark. <laughs> Let me confirm it with uh, BRC first, Adrian, just to make sure he definitely wants to. We kind of talked about it, you know, off the cuff uh, last week with it, so I don't want to commit him to something if we haven't officially it yet. Oh man, and the second wipe. Ouch. Come on, guys. Keep it under that 40. Been over the 7. <laughs> that was no evidence. <laughs> Katie. I mean, here was the way that would be smart to do it. What we do is we all come out on Friday night, we have the no evidence night, and then we do the stream. We all look professional and awesome doing it. Oh, I got what you're saying, Rishi. No, I've thought about something like that too. You know, kind of do like a Google Hangout or something like that. Uh, I definitely think that could be a lot of fun for sure. I saw some fingers. <laughs> We'll, well, we'll check the records later, Cammy. Don't worry. Ooh, eloquent yeah. dropping. Oh, who's down? Sorry. Oh, come on, you guys. Minute and a half here. Come on. What happens if Cleveland stays on SGN's website? The issue behind wipe there on Xbox. Ooh, shots yeah. fired from Serenity. Which, by the way, I don't know where if your oh, name comes from anything too specific, but I love the Firefight reference if that's what it's from. First time I saw your name, that was all I could think about. All right, push it through that portal. See where this one is going to go. Oops, there we go. Oops. Wow, my phone starts going crazy over here. <laughs> 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 
Nice Serenity, awesome. Oh, Firefly. If anybody's watching this, guys, and you have not seen Firefly, please do it. It is just one of the best best shows I've ever seen with it. Uh, honestly, there are so many great actors and actresses in that, for sure. Um, definitely kind of the premier piece that Malcolm Reynolds, or Malcolm Reynolds, excuse me, actor that plays Malcolm Reynolds, of course, Nathan Fillion, uh, really stepped up and showed he could do well, which was pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, Captain Tight Pants. Oh, Kaylee. I love Kaylee. Is that him over there? That That's a food table. But how do we know if we don't check? Oh, I love every bit of it. <laughs> Never seen it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I so say you actually have two people from Firefly in Destiny. Uh, Nathan Fillion voices one of the uh, vanguards, and um, man, I'm blanking on her name right now. Uh, she plays Zoe in Firefly, and I cannot think of her name, which is Kelly Gina Torres. There we go. I'm like, what? I'm trying to remember my head. Uh, Gina Torres, which also, of course, voices one of the other ones. Um, otherwise, of course, guys, you know, you can always find Nathan Fillion doing Castle, which is an awesome show if you haven't seen that. And uh, Gina Torres is actually playing a really cool female role as well uh, over in Suits. So we do have some of the stuff coming down. I was watching too much of the chat. I wasn't paying attention to whether or not he went down. I don't think he did yet, did he? I unfortunately was watching too much of the chat. <laughs> no, okay, he's not done yet. Didn't think so. Sitting around that 41 minute mark. Ouch. Oh, come on, guys. You gotta beat it better than 10. 10 minutes under. I have not watched the 100. Um, that is on my list of shows I want to see as well. I got a lot of stuff I need to see, man. It's it's ridiculous. My my queue of shows I want to see, movies I need to see, all that kind of stuff. Oh God, yeah. Um, the girl that plays, yeah, the daughter uh, in Castle is she's amazing. I hate calling her hot just because I feel I don't know. I, she she's such an elegant person. Have you ever seen her on Twitter? Uh, if you don't follow her on Twitter or even Nathan Fillion, my God, do it. They are absolutely hilarious um, with some of their stuff and do a pretty darn good job with it. Nice. I'll have to watch that. That's definitely on my list to watch. Pushing up that 42 minute mark. Can they keep it under 45 at least? Come on, keep it under a standard time. That's about what the standard run time is for Vault of Glass. 45 minutes if you know what you're doing. Um, I don't remember what the time it took for the very first group to run through the raid again. I want to say it was like 8 hours. Um, I don't remember. I don't know if anybody can confirm that time. They remember. Right. Guardians make their own fate. Uh oh. That Titan Shield. Pretty much the only way to do that. Throw on that Titan sheet in the mid What the heck was that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Thir okay, 13 hours. I, I don't remember. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did send some stuff out. I sent it through uh, Ryan and some other stuff with it too. Um, I'm making a list. I gotta put together a list. I haven't had a chance to do it. A bunch of the people's Twitter, so when we do this kind of stuff, we can just hit up a list. Um, key with it. If you haven't done it already, add you know, uh, you gaming elite um, or even the red gamer to like a list. Um, I'm gonna make one and then I'm gonna send it out to everybody within SGN. Um, like I said, again, with all this kind of stuff with it, since we kind of did this last minute, I was not as prepared as I wanted to be with it. But you know, that's the way things work. You do things live, and you kind of have those little pieces of it. I know, right? Another wipe. You know, at this point, I think, that, you know, honestly, at this point, you've already kind of blown the time with it anyways. So might as well just have fun with it, right? Try to complete it, get the stuff with it. <laughs> yeah, they need you, Micro. Uh, all right. I guess we'll have to give, you know, we'll have to probably do going forward. We might have to find a different game that the Xbox can do to redeem themselves. I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll have to see what happens, but maybe we can find a way for the Xbox One team to redeem themselves with a different game. I mean, if they really wanted an easy chance, that they could, you know, play me in, you know, Call of Duty. <laughs> right, Katie? I mean, we, I mean, we could have handicapped it. We could have made it a fair handicap, and I would have gone and played on the, you know, the PS4 team. That probably would have added, like, five minutes. <laughs> At least. A Titan shield. All the dual shields. Is he shooting? I don't think you're outside the... I can't tell if he's actually hitting him or not.
<laughs> Adrian, nice. PS4 team accept the rematch, right? <laughs> Forza. <laughs> Pano, I would actually, you know, if somebody would, if I'd go to some place where they had Forza, I would actually take you guys in with it. I don't know. I was always pretty good at racing games. And, you know, dead. I don't know, guys. After the way you guys ran that, I think we have a serious shot at the world time. You know, if you guys actually were interested in doing that, we should look at trying to practice it and making sure we fall into the official guidelines. You know? Um, that'd be pretty cool. Get SGN on the map with that. Because the one problem with this is we have a time for it, but of course it's not official. Um, there's a lot of guidelines you got to fall into that. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool to do for sure. But, you know, the bigger thing I think watching away from this, I think walking away from this, one of the things would be cool to do is start getting some people more and more into speedrunning. Um, we definitely have some people that love this game, and I'd love to start seeing some speedrunning stuff. Um, I know I love doing them. I'm just horrible at them. I've never been good at speedrunning a game. It's just not my forte by any means. Like I said, Dark Souls 2 is the closest I ever did, and I got that through in an hour. But I learned how to speedrun Dark Souls 2, actually, so I could do the uh, no bonfire, no death run. I don't know. You know, that could be kind of fun to do with me uh, when uh, Scholar of the First Sin comes out. I don't know if anybody here does Dark Souls. That'd always be a way to do it, too. <laughs> Alright, and time. 45 minute mark. Oh, you guys. Well, the one team who did had full. Yeah, true. <clears throat> Well, a good try from the Xbox team. My hugest congratulations, of course, to oh, yeah. the PS4 team, guys. Well done. PS4 racking in at 32 minutes and 26 seconds. And the PS, or the, excuse me, the Xbox team, official team from time from Katie, is 45 minutes, 35 seconds. 